my challenge welcome back to my channel and my doc your house series a declutter organize and clean this is episode 14 i believe we're moving along i still have my jar full of random tasks to do around the house if you are new to my channel welcome if you don't know what the doc series is all about i basically went throughout my entire house and designated areas that need a deep cleaning and a serious declutter every area is on the little sticky you can use um you know any piece of paper it doesn't really matter and i pick them randomly and the reason why i'm doing this is to keep me accountable and force me to do things that i've been procrastinating for the longest so some of those areas are areas that constantly need declutter like the kitchen for instance or the bathroom or the closets other areas are uh, parts of the house that I've literally abandoned and I've not looked back <laughs> at in years. So we all have those corners, those nooks and crannies, those hot spots that need decluttering whether on an ongoing basis or occasional basis. This is the system that works the best for me. It keeps variety and an element of fun. I just pick a task and I go ahead and do it. And sometimes kicking and screaming, other times, um, pretty happy to have to do them i give you an example i'm really not looking forward to doing anything in the kids bedroom and uh but i am looking forward to do anything related to my collectibles and decorative items and things like this because that's fun for me kids clothes not so much so let's pick a task let's find out where we're going today i picked them all randomly um last week in the last episode i did the bathroom upstairs I'm really liking the result. It stayed exactly the same. Let me put on my glasses. I saw a K, so I think it says kitchen. Kitchen decor. Ugh. There's not a lot of decor, but we're gonna have to make decisions about the kitchen decor today. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. Um, kitchen is clean for once. And I'm looking around and yeah, I got knickknacks and stuff in here. Um, and do I need all of it? Probably not. Well, most certainly not. I'm not touching the Corningware. <laughs> because the Corningware collection is a collection that stays here. So we're not going to address the Corningware in the corner over there. Okay? I'll show it to you, but we're not going to do anything about that. But I'm going to give you a tour. Um, there's, you know, added little knickknacks and stuff from the last time you saw the kitchen. Um, some of it is just street finds, um, things that I, I don't know if I want to sell or not. But really none of it is, well, none of it is not true. Most of it is not that important to me. Um, and we have some issues with, I have issues where to put things. Um, so I'm going to go through the decor. I know that this big plate right here um, doesn't belong there because it's too big. I need to either sell it or put it somewhere. I think I'm going to sell it and find something else to put there. I don't have to put anything, but <clears throat> since I have a hole now <laughs> from the uh, the nail that's behind it, I gotta figure out where I'm going to put it. And then to be honest, the two balls probably can go too. So I have to make some assessments today as to what I really want um, in the kitchen. It's the more stuff you have, the more is stuff you have to move in order to clean the counters or clean the shelves. Um, I'm never going to be minimalistic where there's nothing in sight. That's never going to be me. I like to be surrounded by pretty things and things I like. And my taste in things changes um, and shifts and it's very fluid. It's a dynamic type thing. So one year I may be very much into primitive, the next year I'm going to be into vintage stuff, 50s, mid-century modern. The following year I may be into something totally different. So it changes with moods and cycles and phases, I guess. Uh, so this kitchen is always going to change in terms of what it looks like um, for decorative items. But I'm at the point now where there's just too much of everything and nothing is really related to one another. So I have to purge. So it's a good way of starting this decluttering process in the kitchen. Like what do I want the kitchen to look like on a permanent basis versus what does it look like now? You see what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, let me give you a tour. So if you're brand new and you don't know, here's the kitchen. And yes, the system I put in place the other day in 
second or third video still working out um so here's a quick pan on what the counter looks like right now and then i have a shelf here with a bunch of stuff on it and this is the plate i was talking about that i think i'm going to remove today and we have bowls here that i have to make decisions about uh, various knickknacks plant All right above the window you can't really see but there is a uh, um, a sign as well and then i have these two here that's staying this is all the corning wear spice of life that i collect so that's staying we know that eventually it's gonna move to the tops over there and then uh you know various things here and there so i don't know if you're aware but i'm a major tea drinker um scott's got this idea that the butter's got to stay outside moving forward so i'm not gonna fight that that's from yesterday um so i have things here that are gonna have to stay um my boiler or um yeah water boiler stays here this doesn't have to be here but i'm expecting a delivery from amazon today for herbal tea because i only have three left I drink a full pot of herbal tea before I go to bed and then um, a full pot of black tea when I come back home. So I have a bunch of things here that I need to move. These are cookies. Um, this is all my tea paraphernalia. And then over here we got more things that needs to be moved. I have some tea cups. This was sent to me by a subscriber and um, he's the king of the kitchen. He's definitely staying here. More things here that I have to make decisions about. That's my teacup. Oh, I think that's my delivery. Um, this I found on the street and I cleaned it up. I'm not married to it. I may not keep it. And then over here we have various items as well that I gotta decide what am I gonna do. Let me go to the door because the dog's gonna continue to bark until Amazon <laughs> delivers my package. So what I'm not keeping today, I'm going to put it up for sale. Uh, let me start with the tea paraphernalia. Um, because, you know, this, it's my teapot broke. My old teapot that was kind of like the same green than this. Um, I've had it for years and it broke. So I got a new teapot and that's a uh, brown Betty from the 1930s. Really, really cool. So that's definitely staying so now i like to drink tea from real teacups not mugs whenever possible although i do mugs too when i do a, a, a tea bag um, <clears throat> i have three teacups and saucers and the reason why i've been doing this lately is because i'm trying to find the right it's stupid i know but when you're a tea lover you know it's the little things <laughs> that matter. I'm trying to find the right um, teacup. And not all teacups are alike. Um, so I found this one on the street. And I can't for the life of me ID it. I know it's Wedgwood and Company. It's the unicorn um, on it. So it's after 1960 maybe 57 to 68, something like that. I'm just making up the time. But anyway, it's from the 60s, early 60s. Um, it's very pretty, it's in good shape, but I'm not crazy about it because it's got a thick lip. I know, it's crazy. Okay, this one, I put three of them for sale and this is gorgeous. This is uh, uh, Authorn uh, by uh, Franconia. But I didn't put this one up for sale because it has a chip right here. So I've been drinking from this one. It's very nice, very dainty and all of that. It's, it's cute, I like it. But the one I really like the most is the one from Aunt Frances China. That's the one that I've been using. And I like this one because it's got a nice lip. You see the lip right here, which is very thin. So it makes the tea experience a little bit more satisfying. It's crazy i'm talking nonsense but anyway so you see the difference between the two lips all right and this one's a little bit smaller so the tea stays hotter longer uh compared to this one so this one i really can sell it because it's got a chip so it can go i'm not gonna sell it i'm gonna try to sell this one on the facebook marketplace and i'm gonna keep just one because that's the one i really like um so that's for sale let me put it up for sale this one can go. Alright, 
This guy, can you still see me? He stays here. Does it need to be centered? No. We can put him in the corner. Now this, I don't know what to do with this. I found this, it was covered in dirt, like really filthy. Um, and I cleaned it up. I can't really sell it because it has chips. They're very tiny. I'm looking, oh, well now, there's a big one right here. And then there's like some tiny ones. I like this, I think it's pretty. Um, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. It's more like a dining room type thing. Eventually I'll ditch it, not yet, I'm not ready. So pretty much emptied out the whole shelf over there, but I'm gonna make it my tea section. Because I gotta have a place for my tea stuff. Because like I said, I drink tea every day. Um, Okay, that's that. And then, I have my warmer. You know, eventually I'm gonna do the cupboards, right? Okay, so this stays here. So I got rid of one teacup and a saucer. One I'm going to sell, I'm gonna wash it now. Um, I'm gonna to try to sell the floral thing, let's see. I'm gonna take pictures of it, let everybody know on the Facebook marketplace that it has a few chips. We'll see if somebody will buy it. It's from Adley um, Staffordshire. It's from 1940s, I believe. It's got a you know, a little few defects, but somebody may want it, you never know. And if nobody wants it, I'll just ditch it. Um, street find. I think it's pretty. It's very mortuary, isn't it? My sister mentioned that it looks like the stuff we have on French uh, tombstones. Um, and it totally changed my perception of it since. I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. It looks like a funeral home uh, thing, but anyway. So let me clean the tea cup here from Wedgwood because it does have tea stains in it. I'm going to take pictures of those and then I'm going to box them and move them out of the way. So I'm trying to be sensible here. I'm not just grabbing stuff and saying, ah, I'm selling this, I'm getting rid of this. There's some stuff I do need. Like for instance, this guy here, he's been in the family for a good four years, if not more. And that's where I keep um, the dogs, cookies and treats. So. This, obviously I don't need, I just finished this box. Um, there was an Earl Grey door that I brought back from France. I was debating for a while as to whether or not I wanted to keep the container, but what am I gonna keep this for, you know? That can go. I'm making progress. Okay, this guy, I was gonna put him up for sale. Um, it's a Rubens pottery vase, and uh, they supposedly are highly collectible. <laughs> But it's got a few discoloration on it. I don't know if you can see it, which you can remove. So I'm going to put it on the Facebook marketplace. We'll see what happens with that. I wasn't going to put it. I was going to put it on um, Etsy, but you see it's got like some marks. So I don't know, maybe like five bucks if somebody gave that. So I'm going to put that up for sale. Um, this was a street find. It's a TJ Maxx. Thing. I'm going to put that up for sale as well. Uh, this is a street find. I have no use for it. I'm going to put that up for sale. You know, I'm prepared, right? Okay, and then this, um, found it on the street too. It's a vintage England uh, elite tray. I think it's from the 50s or 60s. I kind of like it. What am I going to do with this thing? I can't really sell it. It's got like some damage and you know whatever um i don't know should i put it up for sale nobody's gonna want to buy this it's got too much damage on it it's very nice but what am i gonna do with it i can let go of that okay so that's that and then this thing here was a street find too i have zero use for it i mean really um so that's gonna go up for sale as well now i do have an issue with balls <laughs> i like balls mixing balls I got a whole bunch 
these are the ones that no longer fit because I have too many. I have two of these street find. This one is a fast craft. I really like the white one. That's a definite keep. This one is very large. I really, really like it. It's from Italy, but it doesn't fit in my cupboard. It won't let me close. So I have to find a different place for it. And since I'm looking at balls, let's pull out all of the other balls that are in the cupboard and make a decision as to what I'm keeping and what I'm letting go of because I just can't go on with having balls on the countertop, right? Okay, so I pulled out all the balls. Um, the white one I've decided I'm keeping. I have this green one that's from Monmouth, uh, USA. It's a really, really nice ball. I'm gonna keep it too. Those fit. Okay, these are street finds. I really don't have much use for them. Certified International. They're nice, but really, okay. I'll put them up for sale. This one is a street find, but this is like amazing. It's an Ivory Lamberton from the Hangard Club. It's from 1930 or so, 1933. It's a very, very old ball. I really, really like this ball. Keep that. Uh, this is a um, whole pottery that was part of the General Electric, uh, don't mind the dog, he's drinking, uh, General Electric fridge collection and I do like this one so I'm keeping it. This is a Franciscan that was a street find as well. This is a Franciscan that was a street fine as well, which I really like. I can't sell it because it has a hairline crack here. And I think it's a matter of time before this one just breaks on me. I'm going to keep this one. This I can let go of. And this was a street fine too. Um, it's got a chip right here. I can let go of this one. So I can't sell that one. This one doesn't have a chip, but nobody's gonna buy this. So that can go. And then I have these two here. Kind of like. So this is for sale. This is keep. Sell these. This one, it has chips that can go. Um, I'll keep this one. So I let go of three. And then I'm gonna make a decision about this one. I'd like to keep it, but I just can't put it in the cupboard, so I'll have to put it somewhere else. All right, so keep this one, and then this I gotta put somewhere else. These two, I'm gonna put them up for sale. So I just took those down from above the door, and I can't really sell them because this one's got a big chip right here, and then this one's got a hairline crack. I don't know if you see that, and uh, it's just about if I spread it, I could probably break it in half. And then this one's got a hairline crack right here. Can you see it? So same thing. So these guys I can't sell. They were all, uh, this was an estate sale. I think I paid $4 each. And then this, I can't remember if it was an estate sale, a Goodwill, or if I found it on the street. It's all a blur after a while, you know? I'm going to keep the platter because I really like that and I can probably do something um, with it. I'm going to put in the curio, but these two, I can't sell them. Nobody's going to want, Campier is highly collectible, um, but hairline crack and chip, not going to happen. Um, 
unless somebody is selling theirs with damage I'll have to look into that but I don't think I can do anything with those so keeping that and unfortunately I think I have to ditch those two so the sign that was above the window and you couldn't see I put it here instead um, much better I think and also put a little dab of paint which you can barely see on where the hole was for um, the big blue platter and all of this is up for sale on the marketplace so I am putting the two campaign bowls I looked on Etsy and there's a lot of people selling them for 40 bucks a piece um, with damage I, I, I don't know about that I think that's way over the top for vintage ones that are cracked or you know so I put them up for 30, 30 bucks for both I paid 8 bucks for both a long time ago We'll see, maybe somebody collects them and wants them. And you can't see me because I'm all backlit. The last piece of decor I'm going to take down is this. It should really be a Christmas thing. So this and that goes downstairs and I'm done. So to recap, uh, I let go of one teacup and saucer. I let go of three bowls, um, big bowls. And the vase that's kind of had some damage I let go of that because nobody's gonna buy it um, you know I'm in mean, street fine anyway it doesn't matter it's going back to the curb unfortunately uh, what else did I let go of I'm thinking the tray I let go of that and this wreath is going back downstairs I'm selling one teacup the floral arrangement two campier bowl the beer uh, caddy and the two pasta balls I am selling. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items that are going up for sale. One, two, three, four, five that I ditched. Um, and then this, and what else is going downstairs? That's it. And one item that's going to be relocated. So it didn't take too long. Um, the kitchen looks a little bit more open. I'm keeping the cross that's all the way at the end here. I don't know if you can see it. That's from uh, Melody. She sent that to me a couple of years ago. It's always been there. It will always be here, Melody. It's not going anywhere. Of course, the corningware is not going anywhere. And then um, I like the sign over there much better. So that's it for this video. You know, sometimes you just relax, do a little bit of decluttering. Uh, if you can make money out of it, might as well. Why not? Um, I'll see if the stuff sells. If it doesn't sell, I'll donate it. And uh, it will go to my Presbyterian church. They uh, always sell stuff, um, even though it's damaged. Somebody will buy it, I'm sure. But I'll gladly donate it if in two weeks it doesn't get out of the house. So for now, it's going to go in a box in the basement. i got to put it away, cart it away. Otherwise, it's going to stay here for ages. Hey, I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye!